Hey, beautiful people. This is Marissa Monique. Uh, I want to talk about changing your life. So I was talking to someone not too long ago, uh, and she was talking about how she had never moved um, away from her family. And uh, she wasn't really thinking about it, but I could tell that by the stories that she told and the vacations that she had taken, that she was very drawn to a few other places. And um, I was with some other friends and we were like, you should try living somewhere else. And she was like, oh, I can never do that. I don't have the guts to do that. Um, when your internal narrative is I can't, I don't have the guts, I don't do this, then therefore you stay where you are. That's what you do. We need to change that internal narrative. It's I can, or that would be interesting. A lot of us don't want to actually move or do something else because we're so uh, committed to our comfort zone. So something that you may not know about me is that I have moved out of state several times. I've moved out of, I started moving out of state um, when I was 18 and I have moved five or six times um, through the age of 35 or so. And I have enjoyed every single move. Um, something that's been integral in th those moves has been my parents' attitude and approach. They never stopped me. They never were like, go to, go to college real close to us. Don't do this. Don't do that. Well, what are you going to do if you move away from me? They never guilted me. They always encouraged me to explore. They also said, hey, you can always come home. So you're free to go away. And that gave me so much permission. And sometimes parents don't think about the messages that they're sending us when they say, oh, you know, I don't want you to go too far away from home. And what would I do without you? They're using you literally as a comfort animal, as a human teddy bear. And that's not really fair for you, especially if you have yearnings inside of you to explore, to be a little bit nomadic, to find out what, what else um, other environments look like, smell like, taste like, feel like. Uh, and so I would encourage you, especially if you're single and you are not, when you really think about it, because this takes some honesty now, when you really think about it, are you really happy where you're living and where you're at? Or do you just feel so committed to your family or the job you have or whatever that you don't want to venture out? And I'm not, this isn't a video about just getting rid of, rid of a job because we don't want to do anything stupid either. But there are ways that you can plan to travel more or to move um, and explore other places. For example, I have lived um, near the beach before and then I lived inland and then I lived in a place where it snowed and I discovered, guess what? My favorite place was living near the beach. So guess what? The next move that I made was to the beach and I'm happier for it. I'm in better weather and I'm doing a lot of things outside that I like to do like hike and fish and, um, you know, swim and sunbathe and skate and bike in better weather. And I still see my family. I still travel to see other places and I still stay connected to my family just because i am not living next to my family does not mean that i am not close to my family i'm very close to my family but i also am okay with having a little bit of distance because i realize that my peace contentment and happiness belongs in a particular environment and that's not necessarily the same space as where my family is and that doesn't mean that i'm trying to disconnect from my family as a single person, the best time to explore and venture out to other places is when you are single. You will never get this time back. And so you have to be brave enough, courageous enough to sometimes put these moves in motion. And even if you have parents that are guilting you or making you feel bad or sorry about going away from them, you can offer assurance to them. You can offer assurance to your friends and you can also offer assurance to yourself. A lot of us are lacking the confidence to really get out of our own way. And I know this sounds cliche, but a lot of people, um, once they have made moves either to a new job, a new city, um, they have said, if I knew how happy I was going to be in this new place, I would have gone sooner. 
And that stands for new jobs, new environments, <laughs> new cities. Um, I especially encourage these singles that are in very, very small towns and you feel like everybody knows everybody and it's very hard to date because everybody's connected with someone, move now, <laughs> move now, move soon. Start putting your plans in motion. Write out a plan and make it happen. There is something that builds your confidence when you decide to sink or swim by yourself in a new place. And once you are in the new place, you also have to find ways to encourage yourself to fight isolation, to fight loneliness, and to get connected. Ways to get connected, I will share in another video, but please, if you have a yearning to go somewhere else, do it, try it. You can always go home.